Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show how you can control MIDI output channel changes with your computer keyboard. Of course, you could also do this with an external MIDI controller if you'd like. This could be useful if you want to redirect your MIDI keyboard output to a different synth or application during a live performance. I've started with my standard template file, and now I'm going to go ahead and set up my one global variable that I'm going to use in this project, and we'll call it G0. And that will be the channel number that will be designated as our output channel, and I'll set that initially to uh, 0, which is MIDI channel 1. Now I'll go ahead and set up my input and output devices and I'm using virtual ports in both of these and I just click on my output and my input which are just aliases. Now let's begin setting up our translators. The first one will be a channel up message. This will increase the or increment the value of the channel that we're going to have and it will we'll use here is a keystroke and I will use keystroke A to to go channel up and now we put some rules here. So G0 is our global variable and what we're going to do is increment it by 1. But we don't want it to go past 15 because there's only 16 MIDI channels. So if it's greater than 15 then we're going to take it back down to uh, 0 again which is MIDI channel 1. Then I'll just duplicate that preset to make the next one easier to do. We'll call it channel down and we'll uh, assign a different key for channel down so I just clear that out and then I'll assign S to it and then we'll modify our formulas because now we're going to decrement the channel number and if it's less than zero we're going to need to set it to 15 and so the channels are all set up now now let's set up our translators for note on and note off. So first we'll do note on. Our incoming channel will be MIDI channel 1. Uh, the note and velocity can be any note. We'll set the variable to PP. The velocity, any velocity, variable to QQ. But note does come in on channel 1. And then the outgoing, we need to take that note and send it on the G0 channel. So it'll be a MIDI message as well. Note on the channel. Okay, the, the uh, note is still PP. Velocity is QQ. Same as the input. But then we go modify the channel number and there we want it to go out to the global variable G0 which is the channel we set. So we've got the note on message covered. Now we need to just duplicate and change that to a note off so that when you turn off the note it'll also kill it so there's note off everything else should be the same on incoming on outgoing we just need to change that to note off and now it should go to the correct channel the G0 channel that we defined earlier I've opened the log window and then I've put a keyboard layover here so you can see what's happening and I hit the escape key to re-establish the global channel at zero uh, as you see, the notes are going on and off at the right channel. I hit an A to increase the channel number, and now the outgoing messages go to the next higher channel. And I can continue to do that, and they keep going to the next higher channel. And when I hit an S key, it drops it back down to the previous channel. So everything seems to be working perfectly. Thank you for watching today, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at www.bohm.com.